Hi amazing people, welcome to Christianity over Islam with Sam Shimon. and on this episode of this amazing debate we got to find out that Allah copy Omar's speech and Quran tell Muslims to worship Jesus. This is a debate between Sam Shimon and Abbas from Speaker's Corner. Let's watch this amazing video. So in the English it says the messenger believes in what was sent down to him from his Lord and the believers each Thank one. You. Okay, that's it. That's, that's, that's it. it. The messenger bring, believes what comes down from his Lord and the believers. So if we understand it's like this, that means what messenger believes, he believes in something which comes down to him, like revelation, from Allah and the believers. Do we Muslim believe in that? Then Muhammad received a revelation from the believers? Abbas, can I answer that? Uh, yes, please. Because I actually did a session on this proving yes, actually, two problems. Number one, this shows the Quran is not a linguistic miracle because of these mistakes. But secondly, it is true, revelation did come from the believers because I have your hadith where Umar inspired Allah to inspire Muhammad with Umar's revelations. So yes, revelation did come from Allah and the believers. Umar is one of them. No, no, does it say that that, that revelation came from Umar? Does it say that? Yeah, well, basically. Is he a believer or is he a, is he a hypocrite? No, no, does it say, that, even the Hadith, does it say that revelation came from okay. Umar? Okay, see, this is the problem. You're, you're playing games with me. I'm trying to be nice. And I'm not playing games. I'm asking you. I will show you many examples where the believers inspired your prophet from the sound Hadith, which you selectively cite. But I asked you the question. You said, does it say Umar? Do you believe Umar is a believer? Because you choose the Hadith you like. Is Umar a believer? Of course he's a Khalifa. Of course he's okay, a so is so when it says from the believers, and if Umar is a believer, and if I now show you hadiths from Bukhari and Muslim, where Umar says, my Lord agreed with me in three things. Three things I said, my Lord agreed with me, and they became Quran. What are you going to say? So Umar is saying that revelation is my revelation. It comes from because me. Because even your prophet said, if there was going to be a prophet after me, it would be Umar because of the amount of agreement between Allah and Umar. If God, if God agrees with you something, if God says, okay, that's no, actually saying, Allah, yeah, Allah okay. agrees. You're right. I like what you said. Allah agrees with Umar. Wow. Let, no, no, let, let, if, if, if somebody says something right and Allah says, this is right what he's saying, and I am going no, to reveal. No, but he takes his words and makes it Quran. Second, one, second, one second. I am going to reveal that what, what person saying that I am going to reveal what right. he's saying. Is that a revelation? Did God you hear what he said? revelation so, of that person guys, I want to hear what I'm he said. going by you I'm just going by your understanding let's say I'm, not, I'm trying to argument. make the point but you keep talking we got but your how? point no. five times you're revelation not getting is why is God. Allah taking the words of Omar verbatim and including it in the Quran it's his words verbatim that Allah is repeating it's the words of Omar that become your Quran why as I said is a revelation come from God not from Omar yes so the, did Omar say did, did Umar says that write the, the, write this down because I believe that God believes with me to write that down. This well, I, I, Abbas, that. Abbas, this is the what point. Is so, Abbas, the point the point is is that Umar says that Allah agreed with him in three ways, and then he makes statements that Allah then takes and puts in the Quran. So he's literally copying what Umar said, and it's Why? becoming verses in the Quran. Well, Why? first of all, I. First of all, I disagree with him that Allah copies exactly what Umar says. He, okay. he has to prove that first of all. Secondly, is, uh, Umar, never, Umar never claimed that the revelation is my revelation. He didn't say that's my revelation. Yes, he did. He said, he said yeah, God, go. agrees, he, God agrees with me. That means whatever his point was, Allah says, yeah, his point is right. This, this uh, should be right. If he's asking about right. so, the job of the women, so, his point so, is right. And right. he's so, to do his job. So, Abbas, whose point was it in the first place? Was it Allah's or was it Umar's? Well, let's put it this way: that Allah was going. To, Quran is written long time ago. Quran knows what Shaitan, Satan, Iblis said. Whatever Iblis is going to say, Quran knows whatever the disbelievers is going to mock Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it was all written up there. So can we say that disbelievers, whatever they say, that uh, Allah, uh, Allah reiterate? Allah also copy the disbelievers as You're well? giving no. a false analogy, by the way. It's yeah. difference between the Quran recording what people say and then the Quran taking word for word what someone else says. When someone else says, because these words is not the Quran saying, and Umar said, it's no, these are instructions from Allah. So when the Quran quotes and the disbelievers say, it's telling you now it's the words of disbelievers. But in these verses, it's not, and Umar said, it's no Allah said, and he's saying what Umar said. So it's a false analogy, Abbas. It's not going to work. Yeah, you can open it now because you want to. I quote this in the article, but 
The one I want him to focus on, unless he says, oh, well, no, these are not the words of Omar. These were suggestions that Allah repeated in his own way. So if you open yeah. up that article. The agreements of the views of Umar with subsequent confirmatory revelations of Quran. Some of them make them out to make them amount to more than 20. More than Ibn, 20, Avery. Yeah. Ibn Mardawa narrated that Mujahid said, Umar used to hold a view and the Quran would be revealed with confirmation of it. Now the word confirmation of it is in parentheses, not in the Arabic. Right, it said it would right. be revealed with it. May I say something? Well, well, hold on, hold on. We didn't get to the point. Before you read anything, no, before you read anything, I just well, we didn't get to the main myself. point. Let me get to I'll the main point. I'll tell you about myself. I'll tell you about myself. Anything you give other than Sahih uh, authentic hadith, I will just discard it. Okay, that's fine. You can discard. I want everyone else to see what your sources teach. That's, that's fine. fine. Ibn Asakir narrated that Ali said in the Quran there are some of the views of Umar. He narrated from Ibn Umar as a mar marfu when people said one thing and Umar said another, the Quran would be revealed with the like of what Umar said. That's problematic as well. We're not, you're not going to read all of it. You're just going to get to this one specific part. Keep the two sheikhs narrated that Umar said. Okay, now for him who doesn't know who the two sheikhs are, that's Sahih Muslim, Sahih Bukhari. So you want to just Sahih, right? Yes. Okay, this is Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. This is what it's quoting from. Keep that in mind. So the two sheikhs narrated that Umar said, I agreed with my Lord in three things. I said, Messenger of Allah, if only we were to take the station of Ibrahim as a place of prayer. And there was revealed, and take the station of Ibrahim as a place of prayer. Chapter 2, verse 125. I said, Messenger of Allah, both good and bad people come to visit your wives. If only you would order them to wear hijabs. And the ayah of the hijab was revealed. The wives of the prophet united in jealousy. And so I said, perhaps his Lord, if he divorces you, will give him in exchange wives better than you. And it was revealed that just like that, with exactly the same words. Wait, this see. comes from Bukhari and Muslim, which you showed up in Sunnah.com. That's right. So did I misread this? That the Quran repeated with the exact same words what Umar said as part of the Quran? That's correct. That's what it said. And that's so in the Quran. The example, the whole point was the example you used back for it gets you on bus. Actually, it does prove that revelation came from Allah and the believers. No, it doesn't. I'll tell you why. First of all, even if it's Sahih Hadith, what he's saying, he's saying what, what Allah was going to reveal. He says, uh, I amazing. agree. I agree with my Lord. He didn't say my no, Lord. That's the variant of us. The variant we quote says, My Lord agreed with me. This hadith you're reading right now, first of all, he's saying, I agreed yeah. with my Lord. He said that's secondly, a variant. Secondly, There's another variant that says, The Lord okay, agreed with okay. me. Okay, okay, okay. Secondly, Allah, we know uh, Quran has been written from Lahir Mahfuz, it's just in Lahir Mahfuz. Yeah, it's not when Umar says something, he's written. We don't know that. No, I don't know which, that. We claim that. No, no, we, 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 we Muslims believe that. I think there is a hadith as well uh, about that, but I can't quote you right now. I'm sure you know. So, <laughs> secondly, whatever is going to reveal, Allah inspired some people, come to some people's minds. Did you hear they, Allah they inspire what? some people, guys? Call them, this is yeah. recorded. Say it again. Allah, Allah did what? Allah do inspire some people. Yes, they I inspire. Did. Wahi. Yeah, Wahi. No, it's, uh, Maryam. Allah Quran says to Maryam. Wahi. An angel, angel. So Allah gave it, Umar Wahi, though he's not a messenger or a prophet. And it, there's a no, debate no, among no. ulama if Maryam was a prophetess, because some say she can be, some say no woman cannot be. Keep it up, Abbas. Keep. I'm giving you rope. Keep Maryam's up. mother. Maryam's mother was inspired as well. That's yes, because the family of Imran, they are so, so, so Allah, 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 Allah put something on some people's minds. Whatever is going to reveal, that comes to their mind and they advise and that was going to reveal. That does not mean that Allah is copying what, what people are saying. Allah is revealing because they are saying that. Because nowhere you'll find the Prophet ever said that. Nowhere even any companion will say that. That revelation is from me. That, that is my revelation. We all believe that and the Quran says, the Prophet said, Quran is the revelation of Allah SWT. Yeah. Show me where the Prophet says the revelation come from the believers. You said, show me in the Quran. I did. The verse you quoted buried you. I didn't quote Surah Al-Baqarah 2, 285. You did. So the Quran says revelation is from your Lord and believers. Live with it. That's no, the error. No. You can't get around it. No, no, no. Do we Muslims believe that? Can you show him chapter 2, verse 285 again so we can laugh too? Do we, do we, do we Muslims believe that? Do, this is no, the believer, because you Muslims are brainwashed. 
Even if the Quran smacks you in the face, you're going to deny it. Yeah, that's the whole point. You're brainwashed. But the verse you quoted, if you look at the Arabic, the messenger believes in what was sent down to him from his Lord and the believers. That's your verse. The Arabic says that the Wahi, the revelation, comes from his Lord and the believers. That's the Arabic. You're stuck with it. You quoted it. I'm just taking it to its conclusion. Why did you quote it? I, I was showing you this is the linguistic of the Quran. You don't you don't understand like that. Sometimes the, the word believers, which is from the beginning, it comes later on, but people did understand what exactly it means. This is the linguistic of the Quran. That's why I said 931 when it says beside Allah and Jesus. It says Allah is your Lord. Same very same Quran saying that. What All right, guys, before we continue with our video, you can see so far that from the hadith, Umar said that Allah agreed with him in three ways. And then Allah took Umar's words and added it into the Quran. This can only mean that the Quran is no longer eternal and it is curated because the speech of Umar, of Umar was added to the Quran. This is against the belief the Muslims hold that the Quran is uncreated. Let's get back to this video to get more facts. Worship Allah is your Lord. So if Jesus and Allah supposed to be, we should be worshiping Jesus and Allah. So why is the worst ending? Well, actually, no. Uh, now, if I want me to deal with 931, I'll be more than happy to because you keep going yes, to please. 932 where you says that Allah is one. Well, probably you don't understand that Christians don't believe that Allah and Jesus, if we take Allah to be God, as two gods. So when you quote to me something saying Allah is one, in the same context that it says that Allah and Jesus are Lord, that's what I expect to find. Because in our belief, God the Father and Jesus are one God, not two gods. So what are you disproving exactly? Can you put that verse on the screen? Because yeah, I nine, don't you mentioned nine, so finish it, read it on, right? Okay. So what are you exactly disproving when you quote me where it says Allah is one, when if we go by the assumption Allah of the Quran is the God of the Bible? I don't share that assumption, but let's for the argument's sake. Yes, we believe God is one. So when we say Father is Lord, Son is Lord, Holy Spirit is Lord, it's not because they're three gods or three lords. Father and Son and Holy Spirit are one in their deity and lordship because Jesus possesses the lordship of his Father. So amen. Allah and Jesus are Lord and God is one. All praise be to the Messiah. What are you refuting? Ma, Ma Yeshua. Okay, no, no, hang on a minute. In the Quran, when it says that you, uh, do you uh, tell your um, believers, um, your mother and um, worship me, my mother and Allah beside us? That no, verse no, is talking about. You misquoted the verse in front of my question. No, it didn't say that. Okay. Surah Al Maida 5 1 16 says, Did you tell mankind to take you and your mothers to gods? Once again, I'm going to challenge you, Ambas, because you said you understand it this way. Quote to me any historic reference before during the time of Christ that says Jesus and Mary are two different gods from Allah, as opposed to saying that the Father and Holy Spirit are one God. Can you show me that reference anywhere? You, you changing the topic right now? No, you're the one who went to five one sixteen. No, 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 no. I, yeah, I went you to show the Quran says that Jesus will be asked. Did you tell your mother, people, to take you and your mother or worship you and your mother? I said, you misquoted it. It didn't say... i tell you why. Okay. i tell you why I quoted that. Because yes, you're trying to make a point that 9, 931, you're trying to say that when it says Allah is one, that means Allah is saying Jesus and uh, Allah is one. Um, so, so they just said Allah is one. No. Because Quran again and again distinguish Allah and Jesus separately. It never makes them one. So 931 does. Except 931. So that's what I'm saying. You are nitpicking <clears throat> some verses and you're saying this is what it is, but you're not holistically understanding the Quran. The whole message you need to understand what the Quran says. Can I, can Quran I correct saying you? Jesus was a messenger of God. Jesus no, he's more was than Allah. That. Sorry? No, your Quran says he's more than that because it says he's the word of Allah sent down to Mary and a spirit from him. So the, And I don't believe in your Quran, but I'm showing you. You keep begging the question that the Quran is consistent. We don't share that convention. Just like when you Muslims try to nitpick on the Bible and showing its contradictions, <clears throat> we're giving you a taste of your own medicine. I don't believe your Quran is consistent. I don't believe it's free of contradictions. But even what you said is not true because you know, as well as I do, the Quran says Jesus is more than a messenger because he's the word of Allah sent down to Mary and a spirit from him. So I don't know if you don't think that we, we know your Quran. Maybe you think um, I was born yesterday. I was born the day before, by the way. But your Quran says Jesus is kalimatuhu Al-Qaha illa Maryam, the word cast down to Mary, Ruh and Minhu. Can you show me that language used for a mere messenger in the Quran? Uh, you again changing the goalpost right now here. Let's stick with did, 931. Did I, am I, you said the Quran says he's only a messenger. No, no, okay, 931. Let's stay with 931. Look, earlier it says Jesus and Allah. <laughs> 
Christ. Yes? It's, 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 it's making two. Can no, you hear me now? They're one in their lordship. Now, in fact, I'm going to prove it to you. Can you, can, uh, can you make that big? I, I want to make a point here. I want to read the whole word. Go ahead and make the point. Yeah, okay. point. Because it's very important. Yeah. I am on the phone whenever I change the screen, go to the Quran. That's why I break my voice break. That's why I want you to make the screen is bigger. That'll be that'll be better. Uh, is but it I'll good? Try, uh, anyway, so okay. they have taken their rabbis and their monks as lords apart from God and the Messiah, Mary's son, and yes. they are commanded to serve but one God. There is no God but He. Can you uh, the rest of it? Yeah. Glory be to Him above that they associate. Now, mm -hmm. if you see the very same verse, it's distinguished earlier Allah and Jesus separate mentioning two Allah and Jesus but later on is talking about one yes it's it's uh, and they were commanded to serve but one God there is no God but he so earlier there were two then later on that's one how does it make sense to you okay can it's I answer you without you you cutting one. let me again repeat what wasn't clear the first time we believe God in this context the one who sent Jesus father and Jesus are one God so to quote a verse that says, they are commanded to serve only one God. There is no God but He. Far above what He associates, we say amen. Because in that context, you're already told that the one God you serve is God and the Messiah together. And then to confirm that the Messiah is one with God, and together they're the one God. The brother just mentioned it. If Jesus is the Word of God, like you believe about the Quran, that means that Jesus, that Jesus, though distinct from God, is inseparable from Him because you cannot separate God and His Word together they are one so what are you refuting again and let me add a second point if i go to the commentary when you had a christian who converted to islam this is an ibn kathir when he told muhammad we do not serve serve our rabbis we don't worship them because this verse says that they took their rabbis and monks as lords we don't take them as lords he goes yes you do he goes how how do we take them as lords because you obey anything they tell you so if they prohibit something that allah made lawful you obey them, and if they make lawful something Allah prohibited, then you obey them instead of Allah. In that way, you make them your Lord. So understand what Muhammad said. How do you make someone your Lord? This is Ibn Kathir. So you can get my point so you can refute me. The way you make someone your Lord is you obey him and do what he tells you. Well, surprise, surprise. That means if I obey Jesus and do what he commands me, according to the dimension of your prophet, he is my Lord. Surprise, surprise. So here, what Allah is saying is, don't follow the rabbis and monks and make them Lord over you because they're not authorized to do so. Follow me and Jesus because we have the authority to tell you what to do and how to do it. Bye-bye, Abbas. The Arabic actually says, God bears witness, there is no God but He, and the angels and men possess of knowledge. It literally says, Allah bears witness, there is no God but He, and the angels and men possess of knowledge. So your Arabic is a nightmare. Because Allah just said, he and the angels and men possess some knowledge, they are the one ilah. Again, that's what I'm saying. This is the, this is the language of the Thank Quran. Yes. But, but you need to understand oh, the whole wow. context of the Quran. Yeah, the Arabic literally you says that. The whole context of the Quran. Wow. So, it, according to this, are you saying that the angels are God? Wow. No, Allah said it, not me. Allah said it, not me. No, no, you need, that's what I'm saying. You need to understand the whole message of the Quran is saying. Yeah, exactly. then, According to you, yeah. you saw that area that here it's Allah bears witness. There is no God but He and the angels men possess of knowledge. That's literally the Arabic. Yes, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's so this is, you see why they keep doing the tap dance because the Quran is a joke. The Arabic is a joke. The Arabic creates contradictions and idolatry. So they have to explain it. Well, see, no, you, you got to take it holistically. So if we go to 931, Allah and the Messiah are the one Lord. No, no, you got to take holistically. So when we go to 380, 318, Allah angels and men possess of knowledge they're the one god no no you got to take so when i take it holistically i end up with polytheism all right welcome back guys i believe you were able to learn something new from this amazing debate let's know what you've learned in the comment section and like i said earlier that umar said that allah agreed with him in three ways and that his word was added to the quran this can only mean that the quran is not eternal and it is created it is human made because human speech was added to it then this is against the belief the muslims hold that the quran is uncreated and also the view that jesus is just a messenger 
only expose the Quran's inconsistency because the same Quran says Jesus is the Word of God and the Spirit of God. Same way you believe that the Quran is the Word of God which is uncreated, this means that Jesus too is uncreated because Jesus also is also the Word of Allah. You believe that the word which is the Quran is uncreated and Allah is uncreated and then at this point you have two uncreated. The hadith went ahead to say that in the Quran there are a lot of Umar's views. Remember the hadith didn't say Allah's view, it said Umar's views which means that his word was added to the Quran. Did Umar corrupt the Quran or did Allah take Umar's words and added them to the Quran. These are the questions begging for answers. And if you still believe that the Quran is uncreated, then you have to uncreated Allah and His word, which can be replaced with Jesus in this context. Allah is uncreated, His word is uncreated, Jesus is uncreated, Allah is God, Jesus is God. I believe this one has settled the debate. In defense, Abbas said that Allah inspired some people to write the Quran, which means the notion that Muhammad received the Quran from Allah is just a fallacy and it's just a fairy tale. There is no truth to it. Guys, let us know what you think about this amazing debate in the comment section and also don't forget to like, to share and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video.